Oh man. Oh, it's me again. Yeah, I'm back up in the gym. <laughs> Alright, let me stop, man. Nah, uh, alright guys. Welcome to my chest and back routine. Um I'm not gonna really do too much talking, I don't think, in this one. Well, let's see, I'm not sure about that. But uh try to keep it simple, straight to the point. Um chest and back, everything that I'm doing in this video is gonna be a super set, okay? So, as you can see, I'm warming up with the bar on the bench. Um, doing about 25 to 30 reps, I think. I can't really remember if it was 25 or 30. Um, but yeah, nothing nothing really heavy, as you can see with the bar. And I think here on the cable rolls, I was only using about 55 pounds. Um, so yeah, really light. Just something to kind of get the joints moving, get them nice and lubricated. Um, also, I had another warm-up that I did not show, but I just pretty much did rotator cuff stuff, get my elbows, get my uh, rotator cuff, that things of that nature nice and lubricated, man. Um, so pretty much what I'm gonna be starting off with is the bench press as well as the cable row. Um, this is my first working set, and this is 70% of my training max. So that comes out to 230, Randy Moss jersey. Um, so I'm doing two sets of 10 at 70%, okay? So, um, yeah, not not really trying to, to go heavy, heavy right now. I'm just doing more of a hypertrophy style training. Um, so there you see that. And then I go straight into cable rows, close grip, and I do 70% of my max um, with that as well. And I think that's about, I think I was using 180. 180 on the cable rolls for the first two sets so yeah when you're doing those really try to get that contraction um really try to bring those elbows really far back and get that contraction all right so here's the next um this is actually the third set uh, four sets total two at 70 percent of my max and then two at uh 75 so 75 percent of my training max is 245 so I did two sets of eight with 245 on the bench press. And let me tell you, um, if you actually track your training max and you actually track the percent at which you work and you're not just one of those type of people that go in there and just lift um, just because something feel good or just because you know you're not necessarily keeping track of it. Don't don't be like that, man. I'm telling you, you will see a lot more progress a lot better results if you actually keep your training max in mind when you actually go and train and, and stick to a program all right so after i was done with that i headed over here to do um incline dumbbell bench now still the same rep scheme as before two sets of 70 percent and two sets of 75 Damn, I didn't even realize the camera was all up in my crotch, man. Y'all like that crotch shot? It's all up in my crotch. Um, okay, so then afterwards, bam, we head over here to the wide grip lat pull downs. And you do the same thing. Um, first two sets at 70%. And then the next two sets for both dumbbell, incline, and wide grip lat pull down, you use 75%. Oh, and like always, I'm gonna go ahead and put the full routine in the description. So that way you can copy it, you can paste it to your ink pad, your notepad, your folder pad, whatever. So that way you can get this one a try. And, and y'all, let me know what y'all think, man. Actually, give me some feedback, man. If you feel up to it, get us a try. Let me know what you think, man. I really like the feedback that I get from some of you guys that have tried some of these things out. Um, you know, let me know what possibly could I could change or what you like and what you didn't like. You know, things of that nature, man. I really appreciate that type of stuff. Um, so yeah, I was using 95, I think, in that last set um, for incline dumbbell. Um, again, go ahead and increase the weight on the wide grip, lap pull downs, and. Uh, Get that nice squeeze, man. Look at this little, little, little uh, nice squeeze. One more time. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? You got to get a squeeze when you're working, man. You got to make that mind-muscle connection. That's how you make these gains. That's how you make these gains. 
Um, <laughs> all right, moving forward. Um, I went to this. Uh, what is this called? Um, hammer strength machine and as you see here um, this is actually a slight incline I don't know if you can really tell um, but it's supposed to be designed to replicate a, a incline bench press um, but as you see I'm alternating don't fully lock out the elbows keep some tension on the chest when you fully lock out the elbows you take all the tension off the chest so I'm I'm coming up it looks like I'm locking out but I'm really not um, and so what you're gonna do is three sets of 12 on that um, and then you go here I really like this exercise um, it's a little bit non-traditional but as you can see it really allows a good stretch in the lats because it's almost like you're reaching over your head um, towards the right side of your body I don't know how to explain it I just know that when you go up it you can get like a really good stretch in the lats and so um, I started incorporating these here recently um just kind of switch up the game a little bit man it's always good to switch up the game and uh, break away from you know traditionally what you were doing you know because that's how you see results you got to keep the body confused okay um so i finished up with that um heading over here setting it up i'm about to do some cable flies um we're gonna do super set cable flies you know, we're going to do three sets of 12. Um, this, man, I'll tell you what, cable flies, you know, I used to not do them as often, but I really feel like incorporating them now. I, I don't know. You just really feel like you get a good pump. Like, you you walk around with an ass chest. Like, your chest is just so engorged with blood. It just looks like an ass. And so then I'll go down here, superset it with some wide push-ups. Um just kind of a quick burnout this is pretty much what I'm doing at the very end of the routine um, get a nice little pump get a nice little burnout and you'll be surprised like when you get to that last set of push-ups it's like wow I can barely do 12 push-ups that joint is ridiculous um, next exercise is for the serratus a little bit of lats um, we're just doing some straight bar pull downs um, three sets of 12 reps with these as well um, and really bring that bar down and stick that chest through um, really overemphasize that motion because that's what's really gonna get you that nice squeeze and contraction and you're gonna feel it in your serratus you're gonna feel it in your lats you might even feel it some in your triceps that's okay too all right and so I just went ahead and topped it off with some dumbbell rows uh, again three sets of 12 with that but yeah, guys, that's the video. If you like it, do me a favor. Hit that like button below, comment, share. But most importantly, subscribe and stay tuned.